Hey everyone, my name is Lauren O'Connell and my videos help you to stylize your perfect skincare wardrobe. I had a lot of requests on doing a very easy makeup look. This is what I've been doing nearly every single day and I put a photo on my Instagram, it got tons of likes, shared it on YouTube and got a bunch of comments. So let's get into it. I do want to share with you, I'm 38 years old. I do not have any Botox. I do not have any fillers. I'm shooting this on my iPhone and I don't even have great lighting, but for some reason, I feel like I look quite illuminated. So I'm not using my ring light right now. Hopefully this comes out because I don't want to shoot it twice. So my skincare has just been put on my morning skincare routine. And now I'm getting into the foundation. This is the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation in a shade 1.5. This is my absolute favorite foundation. You can see it's almost gone, but it is so incredibly dewy and it doesn't sink into my fine lines. So I just put it on my hand, use my beauty blender, and I start to bounce it into my skin. You can see how pretty it just looks already. And my skin still looks like skin, which is really important to me. The Beauty Blender sponge needs to be damp. So when you first get one, it's going to be smaller and it's quite hard. You wanna put it underneath water, you get it damp, and then you apply your products. It helps to really push the product into the skin and give you a very natural effect. Now look at my skin right here. You can see it still looks like my skin and it's just going to give my skin a nice glow. This product to me reads more as a skincare label than it does a makeup label. It's just all antioxidants. Everything is so good for the skin. And for me, it's just sort of a little extra dose of skincare. That's how I look at this. It also doesn't feel heavy on my skin. My skin feels like it can still breathe, I can still move, I can still smile, and it doesn't sink into my fine lines. So I like to give my skin just a nice little coating of it. Two pumps seems to be all that I need, and I'm done. Now for my cheeks, I also use a Nude Sticks product. This is the Nudies Bloom, and this is Cherry Blossom Babe. This is just a light pink. Unfortunately, I got it a little bit messy. I'm not sure how I did that. And I use this brush. This is a Fenty Beauty brush. And what I'm going to do is just apply a little bit of the cream to my skin. Now, the older I'm getting, the more I like to use creamy products as opposed to powders. I used to be a powder queen and I would have a very probably matte looking face without realizing it, but I was constantly powdering everything. And now I'm just leaving it as cream because when I do use powder, it settles into the fine lines that I have under my eyes. And I have a tiny bit of emerging crow's feet. I'm just on my iPhone right now using my front facing camera. So what I do is I look like this, which is crazy, but I then take that same beauty blender sponge and I just blend it into my skin and it just gives me a nice healthy blush, a nice little blushy type of glow to my cheeks. And I love it. I think it's very feminine and it's very pretty looking. So I just lightly bounce that beauty blender all over and I like to blend it and I like my makeup to look very blended and natural looking unless i'm going out somewhere that's going to be pretty extra then i'll then i'll change it up but for day to day this is great for me so cheeks are done i'm going to use a little bit of my highlighter this is the charlotte tilbury beauty wand in sorry in spotlight i put a little bit of it on sort of the top of my cheekbone i like to do it on my nose above my sort of temple area, lips, cupid's bow, and a little bit on my chin. I like my face to look just nice and glowy. I feel like when I do that, it looks very healthy and it just looks feminine and pretty. So using that same sponge and there's really no right or wrong way to use the sponge, I guess the direction. I just sort of bounce it around and I just want everything to be blended in nicely. 
One product I've been using quite a bit lately is this Rodeal Banana Low Lighter. And this I'm using as sort of a concealer, but I've stopped putting it really underneath my eyes because you see that like little bit of bluishness in there? That's what I'm going after. I've stopped putting it completely under my eyes because I'm noticing with my very dry skin just during the day, it just seems to, anything I put there just seems to start to age me. You know, I, I always feel like by three o'clock in the afternoon, I look 10 years older than I did in the morning. So I've really minimized the amount of product I put there because on its own, I think my, it looks pretty good, but with, um, you know, I don't need that much stuff, but when I start to pile it on, then I start to have the issue. So this helps so you can see that bluish I pointed out is just minimized. I wouldn't say it's completely gone, but it's gone enough. And that's just what I'm going for. Now I'm going to move on to the eyebrows and this is my Benefit precisely my brow pencil. I first take the spoolie, that's what that little thing is called right there, and I brush everything up. Now, these eyebrows might look brown, but trust me, there is a lot of grays in them, so I do get them tinted about once a month. And when it's freshly tinted, I don't need as much pencil, but then as the month goes on, it just starts to fade and some of the grays come out. So then I do more pencil. Oops. You know, I'm just thinking to myself as I'm doing this, usually I'm looking in a mirror. So this is a bit different. It's okay. And I brush it down for sort of the tail of my eyebrow, but for the middle part, I kind of go more towards my, I guess I would say my ear. And then for the front, I brush up with a pencil. So you can see this brow versus this brow. This one just looks more done. It looks nicer, but it looks natural. And then I go in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills um, chocolate tinted brow gel. And I use just a little bit. I really like this particular brow gel because the bristles are a bit more far apart. And I feel like it just looks more natural to me. It's not as concentrated. And I just kind of brush them in the same direction that I was doing the, the pencil. So up, sort of to the side, and then kind of down. So for my eyes, I have been using another New Sticks product. New Sticks is one of my favorite brands. This is the Magnetic Luminous Eye Color in Bright Eyes, and it's basically just a taupey type of um, eye crayon, I guess I'd call it. But it's just a nice, pretty, natural looking brown. So what I usually do is I'll put it on, but you know, I like everything to look very blended. So I'll take a Beauty Blender sponge. This is a different one now, and you could just use the same one if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna go for a different one. And I just like to kind of blend the color into my skin because then it doesn't look so harsh and it's kind of going with this whole look I've been doing lately of just more of a natural makeup look and just very easy makeup. And if I want to, I'll go underneath the eye too sometimes. And I can actually just use this and kind of blend it through. So eyes, eye shadow, cream shadow is done. Now I'm going to do my eyeliner, but I'm not doing it on top of my lash line. I'm actually going to do it on my waterline. So this is going to look a little funny on camera, but what I'm going to do is just kind of close my eyes and then trace my waterline. Okay, you only need to do this step if you look in the mirror and you can see a little bit of skin between your lashes and your eyeball. If you don't see that skin, you don't need to do this line. If you do see the skin, do it because it's going to kind of bring everything together and it's a small little thing that makes a huge difference on your face. That's done and now I'm going to do my mascara. I'm first going to curl my lashes. This is a Tarte Lash Curler. First, I always use this. This is the Dior Show Maximizer 3D. This is a 
This is a eyeshadow, I, I'm sorry, a mascara primer, and I just put it on my lashes. What it does is it does hold my curl, but more than that, for me, this is important, it holds on to the mascara. Otherwise, I'm one of those people that in an hour, I'll have mascara smudged underneath my eye, and it drives me insane. My eyes tend to water a lot, and I don't know what it is, but I'm always getting mascara under my eyes. So this is the only thing that works for me. So the mascara that I'm using right now is by Tarte, it's called the Big Ego. The reason why I like this mascara is my makes my lashes look pretty, but natural, and it comes down to the brush. The brush is just big, and you can see that it's quite separated. I mentioned that earlier for the eyebrows, it makes a difference. And it has this nice bend to it. You can kind of see that dip in the middle. And I feel like that just helps to, all those things together, just give me that look that I'm going for. So I'm going to do the same thing on my other eye. And I just did that off camera to save a little bit of time on this tutorial so it's not too long. And then I just go through my lower lashes very, very lightly. But last up is the lips. And this is once again by Nude Sticks. I'm using a lot of Nude Sticks these days. This is the Rebel Lip Gel, I'm sorry. This is the Rebel Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm. And this is what I like to put on my lips. And what I really like about this product is that it is very emollient. It's full of great ingredients. It feels so soft on my lips. And I put this on top. This is by Kevin O'Coin. And this is the Glass Glow Up Lip Gloss. And it has a bit of this like reflect to it, which I like because it makes my lips just look a little bit plumped up, gives them a little bit of sparkle. And it's pretty. And I think it looks great. So as you can see, this is not the makeup of a makeup artist. This certainly does not involve cut creases or crazy contouring. But this is a very easy makeup look that truly was inspired by the events of 2020. So I'm just still rolling with it because I love it. And if you're wondering what my morning skincare routine is, it's right here. Check it out.